Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falca Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2, A Legacy of the Void. Today it's going to be a brave new world. Sent to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description. Brave new world is just bronze or silver league replays, okay? Send in to Sniper Monkey. I guarantee he will watch them and let me know which ones are the best, okay? Alright, so bottom left we got ourselves Okoy. Here on Eternal Empire, the blue Terran player. And on the top right we have Kerrigan Pro. Who is the red Terran player? The name of this replay is Nuke Duel on Eternal Empire. So I'm assuming we're gonna have some nukes. Alright, so let's see if we have build orders here today in Brave New World. Hmm. So Barracks gonna finish a little bit ahead of Okoy, but let's see, finish and yeah. So the Barracks. Timing is earlier, but we don't have enough for a Reaper. Have enough gas for a Reaper. And we do have enough gas here for a Reaper, but he's going to go down for a factory. So no early units. Oh, an <laughs> engineering bay. All right. So you want a planetary fortress in your main base, do you? I kind of feel like that's the case. <laughs> when a low level Terran goes for an early engineering bay, as both. Of these players are. What would you do? What would you do if a Reaper showed up? Both of these players. You got one Marine here. You've got one Marine here. Reapers can kill one Marine. And then just go to town on your SCV population. Okay, so two. Two is a little bit harder, but with some micro, which is not very popular here in Brave Noob World. You can't. Okay, so engineering bay, plus one attack, high sec auto tracking, queued, and... What are you doing with this engineering bay, Kerrigan Pro? Don't make an engineering bay. Oh, we've got a sensor tower. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am so on board with this right now. So no one really has much going on, I would argue, at this stage. What do we got? Two marines versus five marines. Oh, a tank's out from a koi, though. Dude, this is, okay, two tanks and like six marines. That's a push out, let's go. Let's go, your plus one attack is done. Let's move out, baby. High sec auto tracking is for the one turret that Akoi built with his engineering bay. Oh yeah, come down here, put these two tanks. Tank, tank, marines protecting them. Maybe scans, ah, I forgot. You need an orbital for that. So pro tip of the day is get an orbital command. If you're not planetary fortressing up your main base, which Kerrigan Pro is. Yo, Akoi, do something with this. Make an orbital. It's just going to be amazing. Mules are incredible. Scans are really good at this level. You scan here and you're like, okay, so it's two racks and a factory. My opponent has a planetary fortress in their main, so their economy is kind of garbage. And then you just kind of wander over and take them down. Army value is 20 to 13 right now for Akoi. So what we're going to say today, the big lesson, the big takeaway from this replay is going to be watch your own replays back. If you're trying to get better at StarCraft, which I think a lot of us are, Watch your replays. Because what you can do here is look at a Koi. A Koi can watch his own replay and say, Oh, I could have just won. I could have shown up with two tanks and a bunch of Marines and Marauders. And some Medivac support and just won. Just killed all this. Could have used the Medivac for high ground spotting to kill a sensor tower and kill anything that's sitting up here to defend. It would have been awesome. Armory coming in from Kerrigan Pro. Oh, we got an orbital from a Koi. Awesome stuff. So I like that both players went for fast engineering bay. Not necessarily... Oh, why are you attacking your own reactor? Don't do that. Why are you self-sabotaging? Oh, he wanted a tech lab. Okay. He wanted marauders, I guess. I, but here's the thing. Lift off the barracks, make a tech lab with it, and then put the starport on the reactor. That would have been great. Just a thought. Oh, you're fusion coring, though. You don't want a reactor on your starport. You want... A tech lab for battle cruisers. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So Kerrigan Pro went for the engineering bay. Eventually got a planetary. The second base for Okoy is so far behind what Kerrigan Pro's is up to. Macro style, man. What is it? Uh, worker count is 24 to 22 in favor of the Red Terran, but he's down about half. This is twice the army that Okoy has. He's got Liberators. He's got Medivacs. He's got Widow Mines. This is a move out and go style play. Sniper Monkey in his comment about this. When he sent me the replay, it was like, I don't know if they both had a, like, no rush 15 minutes rule. Because they sure don't attack each other for the first 15 minutes of the game. Which, you know, that's a throwback to the old Brood War days. 
a lot of people are really interested in StarCraft, but they didn't want to deal with early rushes. That was like their least favorite thing to try to figure out how to do. So, oh, look at this. Fusion Core down here for a Koi as well. Oh, but he's going for, oh, Advanced Ballistics. Is there extra range on that Liberator instead? This is interesting. Still no Battle Cruisers for our Red Terran Kerrigan Pro. But yeah, players, it would be No Rush 20. You would go onto Battle.net, you'd find an open lobby that was No Rush 20, and you'd go in there and nobody would rush for 20 minutes. Everybody would max out, and their macro was bad because they didn't learn how to macro, because they didn't learn, learn how to defend against rushes either. And it was like 2001, man. People weren't good at StarCraft anyway. So yeah, you'd be like, okay, I think I can max out in 20 minutes if nobody bothers me at all. And like, yeah, you, you could sometimes. Anyway, good times, man. Good times on the old battle net. What a wonderful experience. The ladder was hacked to all get out. You go to the ladder, look at the high rankings. The first 50 people on the list would have records of 9999999999 and zero. And you're like, oh, okay, yes. It would make sense for me to go on the ladder, so we never did. We would just play custom games with each other or join custom lobbies and like no rushes and stuff like that. And one of my favorite things to do is uh, Ghost Academy comes up for Kerrigan Pro, which I think I've told this story before, but I would join lobbies and type in all caps and act like I was like a dumb 10-year-old or something, always talking about Pokemon. My player name was Super Pikachu, all in caps. And I would get in there and I'd brag about having beat the game already three times, and I was so good at StarCraft, you guys. And people would leave. People would be like, ah, oh, this is a waste of my time to play either against me or with me on their team. It was my favorite thing to do. In StarCraft. Yamato, high sec auto tracking coming in from Kerrigan Pro. But yeah, hit the like button. If you like the Brave New World, like, let me know in a comment. These don't get a much, lot of attention, but I really like casting them. It is fun to see what's going on in the lower leagues and fun to decide, you know, what people can improve on. And in this case, I say this every single time, but go to lotv.spawningtool.com, go to the build orders tab up top. You can find build orders for your race. You can go look at Terran build orders, TVT build orders, TVZ build orders, TVP build orders, showing you what to do for the first five, even the six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes of the game to get up to a big armory on time that's good against the matchup that you're playing, against the race that you're playing, right? It's the best. So it's lotv.spawningtool.com. That's tool as in the band tool, not pool as in pool boy. Got it? Got it. Good. A Raven coming in from Kerrigan Pro. I kind of like this. Like, Okoye is definitely macroing better today. You know, he's keeping his barracks running. His factory's not doing anything right now. He's getting his own Raven. Uh, two bases, and all you have are a barracks, a factory, and a starport. You really need more stuff, Okoye. I guess he has the second barracks up, which is useful. On the other side, Kerrigan Pro's got two racks, a starport, and a factory. So, are they... And a Ghost Academy. Are they both... Kind of doing the same thing here? Ghost Academy does not exist yet for Okoye. Cool. Oh, he does have one. Yeah, so they're both sort of doing the same thing. This is a weird place for a third, by the way. If you're an Eternal Empire, just take it over here. But uh, I guess you have a third base, and Kerrigan Pro doesn't have a third base. Both players doing all right, not being supply blocked. I've been kind of keeping the eye on this down here. On times two, it's a little bit harder to notice those, but okay. Nuke duel begins now. Are we ready? 1620. No one's touched anyone else yet. Actually, I'm curious. Before this happens, I want to see if anyone is... Okay, so there's been some scanning here. Or some scouting from Okoy. Kerrigan Pro scanned the main base of Okoy once, and that's it. He doesn't know anything else is going on, which is fantastic. So here comes the nuke attempt, but no, this ghost is dead. There's a raven, right? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the raven? Okay, well, this nuke lands. Oh, yeah. Dude, you have a raven. I saw you make it. Where is it? It was just sitting right here. It could have wandered down this way. Okay, so pro tip, ravens are detectors. It says it, well, not here, but when you're playing the game and you click on it and look down below, it shows it's a detector, which means it can see invisible stuff like, you know, ghosts. So army value is 81 to 54. Not as big an advantage that Okoy had, you know, for the first 17 minutes of this game, but he's he's doing all right. He's got three bases up. Uh, are there any, there are nukes on the way from Okoy. Are there any nukes for Kerrigan Pro? No. It's got that Ghost Academy. It's worth searching Cloak, but once that Cloak is done, maybe we'll see some nukes be produced as well. Okoy thinks about attacking and moving out, but here's a pro tip too. If you're a Terran or a Protoss especially, if you move out, you need to be moving out with the intent to attack or scout around and see where your opponent is. You can't move halfway across the map and sit here. That's not how any of this works, dot meme. Okay, nuke again. Once again, Kerrigan Pro kind of sees what's up. He dodges it, and then here's our battle. 
Army value, way bigger for a Koi, but some of it isn't here. Where's his Liberator at? That'd be useful here, but he doesn't really need it. He ends up winning that handily. Wow, 65 to 18 army supply after that battle. This is bad for Kerrigan Pro. He's got tanks on the high ground. He's got a Liberator that a Viking's going to kill because it got weakened up by that nuke. And I think Kerrigan Pro might just be straight up dead here. Mm, Kerrigan Pro's getting a nuke, though. Maybe a nuke will work. Do these tanks, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that Banshee over here. He's worried about the Viking. I like that. Kerrigan Pro's moving units away when he doesn't like the position that they're in. That is a good skill to have for Kerrigan Pro. And same thing for Okoy. He pulls back. Right? Some players are dumb. Some players are like, I have a bigger army. I will face mash into this base and kill it. But then the tanks on the high ground kill you, and maybe a nuke comes down and kills you because you're not smart enough to back out when you don't have a guaranteed victory in a battle. So both these players exhibiting some real smarts there. On the other side, still no third base from Kerrigan Pro, which is really, really bad. Your third base as a Terran can come anywhere between, I mean, four minutes, and I'd say seven minutes at the latest. Oh, I like this. Ah! Nuke duel for real, though. But no, Okoyz isn't going to get off because he's getting... Oh, he's getting healed, though. Hold on, it's very close. Oh, no! And then... Oh, <laughs> that was so cool. That tank's trying to kill the ghost. It's being detected and everything. And then the medevac's healing through the tank damage, but not enough. And Okoyz ghost dies before the nuke can land. And Kerrigan Pro gets his off. Awesome. It's still 47 and 23 army supply. What's up, Car Mel Carrick? It is not good. It is not a good place. Okoy having this third base is really what's allowing him to win this game. Uh, both players starting to float some cash here, and that's what happens. When we start getting battles out, when there's battle is happening, the macro falls apart. My injex as a Zerg player for the first, like, six minutes of the game, mm, crisp, clean. As I start going around to attack bases or defend my own bases, that's when my injects start falling apart. And I find a queen that's got, like, 75 energy saved up, and I'm like, ah, yeah, that's bad. Don't do that. Mm. Auto turret, good against a lot of things, not great against tanks. Tanks also hit them like trucks. <sighs> Auto turrets are pretty tanky. They are. They got a lot of HP. They have armor. But, uh, yeah, a siege tank hitting it for big time chunks is going to be a problem for it, for sure. So both players <laughs> working on nukes. Like, well, the only way to break a Terran is to nuke. And the only way to get a Terran to stop camping you is with nukes, I suppose. This is a cool ghost skin, by the way. That's awesome. I like the shininess of it. It kind of looks like a Ghostbuster from this angle, right? Kind of like a white jumpsuit. Got the proton pack on his back. If you squint, that kind of looks like the proton pack laser thing. Laser shooter. Don't cross the beams, right? Nuke number three attempt here, I think, for Akoi. And he's been seeing the dot really well today. Kerrigan Pro has. Oh, but not... Okay, well... <laughs> Yo! Kills the nuke on the high ground! Kills the Liberator! Awesome! We're cracking this nut! This ghost is like, oh... Wait, ah, then he gets on one knee. Two knees? One knee! It's the nuke calling down post. It's so cool for ghosts, man. And then he tries to, he's like, can we kill the ghost before the nuke lands? And the answer is yes! No! I mean, yes! But no, you're denying us the pleasure of nuke Sukhoi. I understand you're trying to win a game of StarCraft, so that's what you're doing. But Kerrigan Pro is mining out immensely quickly. Uh, Okoy is also, he's got um, a lot of idle SCVs hanging out inside the main base. Doesn't really have a ton of workers overall. He's got 27 here at 2134. So the three main pillars of StarCraft in general, build orders to always be making SCVs and supply depots, probes and pylons, overlords and drones. Really never stop doing that. And the number three would be uh, keep expanding. Those are the things. And produce units to spend your money. So, I mean, look. I think it's more important to spend your bank than it is to expand at this level. Once you've figured out how to get enough barracks and enough factories up that you can spend the cash you have in your bank right now, then you can start thinking about expanding at predictable times and just getting that into your rhythm. Because the third base timing was great for Okoy, but he hasn't really even, as far as I could tell, thought about expanding since. And in fairness, he does have the Terran enemy totally, totally bottled up here on two bases. So if you could do that, great. But the problem is, uh, the further you get along in the game, the higher you get on the ladder, the more likely your Terran opponent is going to have a base down here and down here you don't know about because he didn't scout. And you think your opponent is on two bases, but they're on four, and then you die? And it's a terrible feeling. Kerrigan Pro is thinking about 
uh, expanding down here. Maybe. We sent some SCVs down here for reasons. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, ah, no, another nuke denied. Why are you so cruel to us? All we want is some nukes. All we want is some nukes. Okay, well, more nukes on the way from Okoy. He's not going to deprive us of future nukes. Uh, these guys, I, there's money. Kerrigan Pro has 8,000 minerals in the bank and 90 or 49 gas. That's not a lot of gas at all. But seriously, command center here, command center here, command center, well, here. You know this is free. Yeah, that is what Kerrigan Pro needs to be doing right now because you are out of cash. Sure, you have 8,000 minerals, but you have no income at all. That money goes away pretty quickly. Okoy's only got, what, Three, four, five, six. It's like nine. No, oh, it says nine right there. Nine workers on these minerals. Nine. That is half. Well, not half. Not even half, but close to half of the recommended number. Army value is 62 to 36. Kerrigan Pro is like, well, uh, oh, is he? No, I keep thinking these SCVs have done something. Kerrigan sent them down here for a reason. I'm just not sure what that is. Yeah, so at this stage, Okoy, what you really just want to be doing is being maxed out. So you're at 93 supply right now, which is good. You're producing battle cruisers and ghosts and marines. <gasps> you're making another factory. Oh, it's right here. Of course it is. Why is there a command center here? That's what I would like to know. What purpose is this serving? Do you want to expand here? That's cool and everything. Oh, planetary fortress forward position. That's what this is for, says Okoy. Okay. Truly incredible stuff. Man, Brave New World. You see stuff you don't see anywhere else. <gasps> He's doing it! It's off center, but it is an expansion for Kerrigan Pro. It's third base warning. 24 minutes into the game, he takes the third. He's just donating flying units into this turret, isn't he? And I guess also the there's a Viking here, right? Oh, there's a battle cruiser too. There was a Viking for a while. Did that die? It probably died in one of the previous battles. Yeah, two Vikings have died for a Koi here. Resources lost, 68,000 or 100 for Kerrigan Pro. 4,900. Oh, goes down for a Koi. I like this. The forward setup of the Liberator. Oh, so coming in here sucks because the Liberator is getting big time shots off on your butt. Ah, oh, that's why the advanced ballistic upgrade is so good. Ah, Kerrigan Pro throws out the duck face because that Liberator just ruined him, and that's your GG. Oko is your winner in 25 minutes and 45 seconds. I got to see how many kills this Liberator has. Uh, because this is such a beautiful trap from McCoy. So like, come get this battle cruiser, and then the Liberator's like, ow. One shot. One, two shot. One shot. One shot. One shot. Heal through this, you filthy casual. And then the Liberator just casually picks up 10 kills? 11 kills on that be uh, Liberator. That's a high count kill unit of the day, unless one of these ghosts managed to pull that off, but yo! So yeah, I mean, look, Okoy, pretty good opening, had the three bases up, never got that many SCVs at all. Lost one SCV today, had 26 at the end of the game, made 27 SCVs today. That's it. You need way more than that if you're going to play a 25-minute game. Expand a bunch, build a ton of factories and barracks, watch some professional games with Maru, and see how many barracks he has. Just on two bases, even. On three bases, he's got like six or seven racks, man. If he's going Marine Marauder, you need a bunch. You need a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. If you're looking up at your bank or down at your bank, wherever your bank happens to be, and you've got thousands and thousands of things, mineral stacking up, you're doing it wrong. You need to be adding more production facilities to help with that. So, well done. Definitely a Brave New World nuke duel. I think our guy Okoy got a couple off, and I think Kerrigan got one off, which was awesome. So they were trying, they were making some good efforts there, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was really, really, really fantastic display of Brave New World. Well done there, Okoy. Thanks for sending it in. I do appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Woof! And yeah, so again... Just keep making SCVs and supply depots. Keep expanding. 
And your bank will be down and your army size will be up. Great job. I mean, it took forever to kill your opponent, but you know what? It's a TVT, and I'm sure Okoy has lost a couple games because he tried to march into the enemy base and just got leveled by like 17 siege tanks and said, oh, okay, never again. I understand the feeling. Okay, bien, and also very good stuff. That right there, though, is going to be it for me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Brave New World. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm.